All right, I'll be taking you through the chicken wing dissection. You should read the first page. Uh, most of this is comparing the chicken wing to a human arm. Uh, and that's what a lot of the first page will talk about. And then you can see here, this is a picture that you'd see in the back of that first page of the wing tip to the lower wing to the upper wing of the chicken. This is where the wing would actually be connected to the chicken. Or you can usually see some good stuff down there and I'll actually show you that in a little bit here. Um, here's on the outer portion of this. It's really hard to see uh, on this wing, probably specifically in this video, but we'll see yellow deposits. Um, so yellow deposits are fat and that's something that you want to talk about and something that we talked about in classes where yellow, uh, sorry, or adipose tissue or fat deposits are actually stored in which tissues and that's something that you're going to want to look at. So as I go through how we dissect these, there's a chart that was on that worksheet with you and that's kind of the stuff that you want to talk about and I'll try to talk you through that at the end too. Um, but if you were dissecting this chicken, here's the upper portion of the wing. We actually flipped this over to the under portion of the wing where you can see through the skin a little bit better. Um, I have a dissected chicken wing here that we'll look at specifically, but we made a cut along here and then peel that down to eventually expose muscle in here. Um, I can show you what that looks like in this dissected chicken wing. So as we're looking at this, um, let's see how good I can get this on here. As I was peeling this back, and you can kind of see this right in here as I'm still peeling this, you can see that very thin right there, this thin tissue right here. Uh, that's that universal packaging tissue or that areolar tissue would actually connect skin to muscle. And as I'm pulling on this, um, and in order to actually see the muscle underneath here sorry i'm struggling on this uh, bottom one it is kind of hard but you can see this upper portion of the muscle is already is already showing this nice pink tissue that pink tissue is muscle what you're eating actually when you're eating the chicken wings and then as i pull this back some more you can see that bottom muscle of that wing there um so that's looking at and observing those muscles. So looking down below at that down there, it says observe the muscles. You need to um, bend and straighten the elbow joint here when we're looking at that. And you can actually pull on the muscle and you see that as you pull on this muscle, that actually moves that wingtip um, there. And you could do the same thing up here when we're pulling on this muscle way up here and moving that wing here. So as we pull on the muscle that actually, sorry, moves that, oops, I just disconnected it totally, um, wing tip there, or if I pull on this muscle, um, we're seeing movement. So anyway, obviously muscles are connected to bone in order to make that movement happen in specific dense connective tissue that was talked about in class, and that's something that you'll wanna look at. Um, going down to tendons here, uh, let's see, tendons are shiny white, so that's something you can probably put into your uh, table on that, on that. Um, when that talks about li ligaments, you need to know the difference, tendons, and it says right on your worksheet, connecting muscle to bone and ligaments are bone to bone. I'm going to show you those on your chicken wing here, and then we'll look at cartilage, um, and then we'll kind of be done and you should be able to fill everything in. So, uh, looking at that table and when you're looking at the skin, here's the skin. It's kind of bumpy. I know you guys maybe can see that on your picture. Um, some little feathers, parts of feathers still left on here. It looks like hairs. Um, and then you have the fat, which is that yellow tissue underneath there. The muscle, which is the pink tissue, which we had to remove the skin in order to see now we need to see tendons, ligaments, and cartilage, and there's actually two really great places to see that on this chicken wing, and I'll try to show you both on here, um, depending on, on the wing itself. But eventually, after we saw the muscle underneath here, um, what we did is we straightened out, oops, sorry, this is a little slippery, straightened out this chicken wing and broke this joint right here on the chicken wing. We straightened it out and pushed it forward and snapped it. Um, and so when we did that, trying to see the best picture that we can here, um, we're seeing the bones here. Um, a couple really important features to see 
off of that would be tendons and ligaments. So, okay, here's a really good one. So as we can see on this, oops, sorry. As we can see on this, oh, this lighting isn't the best. I'm probably in the way. Um, as we can see in this picture right here, we have this bone, but then on top of this bone, we can see this going all the way down here and actually then connecting to this pink structure right here, which we know as muscle. So when we're talking about this, this shiny white substance right here, that is attaching this bone. You can see this, it's hard, I'm touching it. This is softer tissue um, that connects that bone eventually to this muscle. So then we know that that is a tendon and that's what you're gonna wanna fill out for uh, that chart on your lab. And then if we can see here, I'm trying to get the best picture. This is really hard and I'm sure you're looking at it like sideways or something, but you can see um, this shiny white stuff right there in between. That shiny white then is connecting this bone here to this bone here. So we know that things that connect to bone to bone are called ligaments. So we're seeing the difference between this one, this tiny one right here connecting bones being ligaments to this one, which is usually longer being tendons. Um, now, if I rip those off, which I ripped this muscle already, um, we could see down to the actual ends of the bones and what's on the ends of the bones. Um, and you can actually see that in this bone down in there that that's shiny white also. It's so like when you're writing the descriptor, description, color and texture, like all these last ones are shiny white, they're slippery. Um, this is hyaline cartilage that we talked about. That's the, the end of bones. But another great place to see that even better is at this edge piece where it would have been connected to the chicken itself. Um, you can see how shiny, and if I was touching this, my finger slips on it uh, very easily. That is hyaline cartilage that is at our joints on the end of our bones in order to make sure that our joints are moving pretty fluidly. Now we have this here, it's another shiny white piece. I'm just looking at this again, is that this tiny white piece is connected to this bone up here. And then if we would have continued the chicken, connected to muscle on the chicken here. So this is another good place to see a pretty fat, nice tendon that was cut when this chicken wing was actually made. All right, so when you're looking at that, chart on your lab that you need to fill out. Um, you need to talk about the description of all the things that are on there, which I tried to tell you in this, in this uh, dissection, I guess. But the big thing that you're gonna wanna focus on is the tissues it attaches to. And that's something that you're probably gonna wanna look at your notes with, because like when we talk about skin, then we can fill this one out together. So here we're looking at, this is the skin that was on top of this, muscle of this chicken wing and obviously then when you're talking about it yeah it attaches to muscle um but as we were pulling it away i was like you can kind of see i mean i already ripped it how it connects in between and there's this very fine webbing of almost uh, clear tissue that is known as the universal packing tissue which has a very specific name which you're gonna to wanna to write that down for number two of tissues it attaches to. Also, um, so keep that in mind on the tissue it attaches to, it's not just one, it's multiple things that those attach to. Um, and then as you continue on your lab, um, you should be able to fill everything else out here. The big thing to know which I pulled on this muscle, is that the only way that eventually chicken wings work is I'm pulling on this muscle here for this chicken and it's moving that chicken wing, but we have to think of what is it actually moving? It's actually moving um, that bone, okay? And what connects muscles to bone? So talking about what is the thing that actually causes movement? Yes, if we contract our muscles, our bones move, but the only way they move is because muscles are connected to bone by something. And that's actually what makes 
our muscles and bones move together and that's connective tissue. So you need to keep that in mind when you answer your questions, answer all those questions on the lab. Uh, you can take pictures of it and email it to me um, if you want to, however you want to do that, that'd be great. All right, hopefully you got something from this. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye.